<clears throat> you're a Capricorn. Your moon sign is Pisces. This means your mother showed you unconditional love, but she didn't want to take responsibility for you, so she'd rather do drugs than take responsibility for you, or she's like overly spiritual, and you learn forgiveness through your mother. And she's kind of, kind of, she's way over spiritual. Kind of, really? And she's kind of schizophrenic, okay? Yeah. And, um, so that kind of makes you kind of schizophrenic too. <laughs> yeah. And, um, your Mercury's in Capricorn, that's how you think you communicate with others. Okay, your Venus is in Pisces, so you treat everyone like a soulmate. In the relationship, and you want everyone to be nice and compassionate. Your Mars is an Aries, so you have a really quick temper, and you're really good at quickies, and you're not um, lazy at all. Mm -hmm. You can be athletic and stuff. I'm not and, athletic, but I guess, like you said, kind of lazy, but okay. I'll get up on the roof and do shingles, like concrete, yeah. and stuff like that. Taking action and stuff. Yeah. Okay, and be heroic, and just get to the heart of the matter. Your Jupiter is in Sagittarius, so you're lucky with traveling. If you aim at traveling, you'll be traveling, and... And it'll expand your knowledge, and you have gone adventures over all the time. And you're a truck driver, so. I'm mean, being um, 17 years driving trucks. So. There's your lucky place if you aim at it. Your Saturn's in Taurus. Okay, this is your father. This means that your father you is your sure daddy. He's your spoiled you, rotten, and he could probably give you a business to take care of. But if you're a dick about it, and his retarded irrational rules, if he's irrational... He'll take it all away from you. Like, he'll take away your food. And you might have been homeless for a little while and not able to right. retrieve your balance and stability. Well, my dad has his own business. Yeah. And he's, I'm not I'm not interested in running it because we were worked together once and it's, yeah. we painted cars. He knows it's not my thing. Mm -hmm. and that's what he does. Groovy. And, like, yeah. So that's cool. And so, he, did he did he spoil you? Was he the one that spoiled you with, um, with money? Like, if you asked him, we really didn't make money back then, I was, so I didn't really have much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, then you would be like food deprived, and you yeah. would learn you would learn how to make money and how to feed yourself through your dad too. Yeah. That's how that is goes. It's usually with everyone who has Saturn and Taurus or the second house. You have to make an honest living, or I'll take it away from you. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, you have to do that. Yeah. Can't cheat at it like some people. Uranus is a Libra. That means when you're really weird and um, uni um, futuristic and stuff like that, you're actually just really normal and relational with it. And, you know, people just see when your weird side is just normal. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's decent. Because <laughs> yeah. that's what Libras are like. They're always like decent. Your Neptune is in Sagittarius. Your spirit, your psychic ability is with your traveling and your gambling with life and higher learning expansion and um, probably in cameras and stuff. Your Pluto's in Libra, that means when you isolate yourself, you never do it by yourself. You just have to be with somebody else when you isolate yourself. You never want to be alone when you're isolating yourself. Like, to be alone, you're just with somebody. Right. Right. And then your Lilith is in Libra. That is how, that is your rebellious side and your sexual arrogance. And you'll be proud of your beauty, proud of your relationships. And um, your North Nod is in Aquarius. That's what you came here to learn. And... Gain characteristics stuff, and that's what you lack like social media, friends, and um, knowledge, and being a weirdo and a rebellious person, and being a unique self. And like a lot of stuff that Aquarius worlds like electricity and intuition and aliens and all this crazy stuff. And I don't know, there's other things. And okay, your crown is an Aries, that's how you heal yourself, is your identity. Like you think you know who you are, the I am, and stuff like that. And then you have to reheal it and be like, find out who you are all the time. Your C rest is in Leo. That means you put everybody in the spotlight. That is your generousness. That's how you heal other people. You make everyone feel like a star. You make everyone feel like the narcissist. When you walk in a room, people like, oh, respect you and stuff, and they treat you kind of like a celebrity. Mm -hmm. But you give that to other people. You provide that to other people, and it's so sweet. That's a really good place, and that's like the best place to have with C rest and Leo. Mm -hmm. And it makes. It's really cool. And then your palace is in Taurus. That's, it's your create. it's your, with creative products is with other people and your financial stability is with other people, like you said, you know? Right. And then your Juno is in Libra. That's how you are in relationship with marriage. You really want to be that Prince Charming and the actual real um, back and forth kind of thing. Um, your Vista is in Pisces. You could have psychic abilities. So... You have the gift of psychabilities. Mm -hmm. I know. I just 
Good Capricorn again. When I was a kid, I was good at it. Yeah. So how was your psychedelics with? And people, Capricorns are lucky with money. So you said something about. Yeah, we'd go into the fair and where they'd spin the wheel and put the quarter on the number. Mm-hmm. And I do that. I could sit there all day long and do nothing but win, 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 win. Wow. Sometimes I'll go to a casino. I'll walk around and take it like a pill. Mm-hmm. My wife hates me for it because I go to a um, slot machine and mm-hmm. hit it for mm-hmm. 100, 150. I mean, I don't get greedy. I just, when I hit 100, right. I'm gone, you know. That's good not to be greedy because you have Saturn Taurus, so that's yeah. good. So that's a good testimony, too. Have you ever seen any spirits or anything yet? Yeah, I was actually thrown against the wall by one. Oh, tell me about that. I've never had anything physical. Always, Capricorns always have physical freaking um, luck with spirits like ghosts and physical things. I was at my grandma's house. That's, it was New Year's Eve. And yeah. I heard footprints. So I went to the room where the footprints were. They I've seen quit. A, I've seen a footprint one, too. That was the only time I physical. They started up in the living room. So you had to walk through the kitchen and get back to the living room. So I walked through the kitchen and they quit. Well, they started back up in the dining room. So I run back into the dining room. And I'm like, all right, that's it. So I grabbed my grandpa's 22. Mm-hmm. And when I heard him, I shot through the wall. And mm-hmm. that after that happened, my, someone picked me up with my leg and threw me up against the wall. Wow. Yeah. It's so unbelievably crazy. It was. I got some every now and then. If, uh, I get a handprint, like right here. On your thigh? Yeah, when he picked me up and threw me. So do you think you're haunted by this? Thing? No, I mean, it's, it's... All right, what do you think about that? That's just where he touched me. This was okay. kind of like a reaction. It's not an actual handprint. It's like, I, the best way to say like, I'm like a zit in the areas where he touched. Uh-huh. It's like, you can make out the handprint. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah, that was the scariest moment of my life. I was probably eight, nine years old. It, it, was, you think it was the place that you, was, you were haunted by in? Or no, just... it was uh, the, my grandma's house. And oh, yeah? when she bought the house, I found out later that two people had got killed in there violently. Oh, wow. Yeah. <clears throat> that is super interesting. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> it was cool. It was cool and it not. supernatural. But, right. What, uh, where, have you, where have you ever dwelled into the supernatural and tried to find uh, out No, anymore? because, you know. You think that that other stuff would happen? Uh, I've seen seen stuff where like what where people put Ouija boards and stuff like that okay. messed around and got hurt. Okay, I've never had the physical thing. I always had spiritual. I always com- communicated with them spiritually, uh, and I have recordings, so I'm, I'm no liar. I'll show you in a minute. I'm I'm I'm, I'm timed. No, we gotta get back to the wife. Okay, but well, that was a good testimony. Yeah. Thank you ever so kindly. No problem.